Hi everyone, my name is Tracy Partridge and today I'm going to be talking about neuropsychology, more specifically clinical neuropsychology. So clinical neuropsychology applies findings from biopsychology within clinical and counseling context. They will, a clinical neuropsychologist will provide um, psychological assessments to give to these patients to see the severity of their brain injuries. They will assist the clients suffering from and dysfunction. They make it to where it's easier to go day to day and you know, that kind of thing. So they provide treatment plans. And these treatment plans can literally range from anything and everything. They develop interventions to help clients adapt or regain function in their everyday life, just like I said. They are typically employed in mental hospitals, clinics, they have their own private practices to where, you know, they can do their own things. With a bachelor's, you can be a science technician, a psychiatric technician, a clinical laboratory technologist, or a pharmacy technician. With a, um, with a graduate's degree, you can be, you can perform pharmaceutical research, which is kind of interesting to me. Um, they practice, they have, for their practice, they'll have hourly billing. Neuropsychology is actually one of the, um, it's most closely aligned with the medical field. And that's kind of interesting because whenever you think about psychology, you really, a lot of people just think of like the um, counseling or something like that. So, Another thing is that it is the most rapidly growing field in the psychology field. You know, like, it's kind of interesting to me. And I got the love for neuropsychology because my dad had a concussion, a sports-related concussion. And he had to go see a clinical neuropsychologist. And they provided treatment plans to help him deal with his issues that he was having you know like there's a lot of issues that come with a concussion and they really helped him get through it by providing a way to get out so a clinical neuropsychologist has four goals these four goals are to localize and diagnose the cortical damage dysfunction i know the second goal is they facilitate facilitate patient treatment and rehabilitation which is a big help for a lot of people because they see no end to the madness you know so like to be able to cope with what's going on is really amazing they also identify presence of mild disturbance that is unrecognized in other examination procedures so like with my dad whenever he would go to other like doctors you know they wouldn't they wouldn't see any issue they were just they would just think uh, yeah you got ringing in the ears because that's what comes with the concussion or you know that kind of thing or you have depression it's just because you're sad you know there's nothing else to it but that's that was not the case at all so going to a clinical neuropsychologist extremely helped him and our family so they also examined the brain dysfunction in clients within a pre-existing condition those are the four goals that are typically associated with clinical neuropsychology. And so I've learned a lot about clinical neuropsychology because of my dad. And I really believe that this is gonna be the career choice that I end up making because it really interests me, you know, to be able to help these patients that see absolutely no end, you know, like there's no way it'll ever get better. So it's like, it's really cool to be able to help everyone has these issues and I hope everyone likes this video and enjoys neuropsychology just as much as me and I hope everyone has a great day